attraction of an electric field on a charge Q. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define electric charges, discuss forces between the charges, describe an electric field, explain force of electric field on a charge Q. Before getting into the topic, let us take a look at a scenario. Have you ever observed the balloon decoration at parties? If you have, you would have noticed that the balloons can also stick to the walls without the use of any glue or adhesive. Have you ever wondered how this happens? A balloon, when wrapped on its surface with some sort of materials like wool or even our hair, gets electrically charged due to the transfer of electrons which then attracts the positive charges of the material brought into contact. Let us discuss how this charge transfer occurs and the reason behind it. Let us first learn what an electric charge is. Electric charge is a fundamental conserved property of subatomic particles known as protons, neutrons and electrons. There are two types of observed electric charges which we designate as positive and negative. This convention was derived from Benjamin Franklin's experiment. Benjamin Franklin experimented by rubbing a piece of rubber with a woolen cloth. He observed that the rubber scraped electrons from the fur, hence becoming negatively charged and thereby leaving the positive charge on fur. He then rubbed a glass rod with silk. The glass rod lost negative charges and became positively charged while the silk cloth gains those negative charges and therefore becomes negatively charged. These charges are represented as Q and its SI unit is Coulomb, C. It is observed that when light charged objects repel each other, and unlike charged objects attract each other. So, there is a force that exists between the charged particles. Let us discuss the forces between the charges. In 1785, Charles Augustin de Coulomb, who was a French physicist, gave the mathematical relation for the forces between two electrically charged bodies. He stated that the forces between the two charges acting along the line Joining the two charges is directly proportional to the product of the magnitude of two charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the charges. Consider a system of two charges, Q1 and Q2, separated by a distance R meters in vacuum. The force exerted by Q1 on Q2 as per Coulomb's law is given by F12 is directly proportional to Q1 and Q2 and inversely proportional to the square of the distance R. And F12 is equal to K into Q1 into Q2 by R square, where K is the proportionality constant which takes into account the effect of the medium in which the charges are placed. And K is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon, where Epsilon is equal to epsilon naught into epsilon r, where epsilon naught is the relative permittivity of free space, which is equal to 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 farad per meter. Epsilon r is the relative permittivity of the medium. If the charged particles are placed in the air, then k is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught which is equal to 9 into 10 to the power of 9, where ER is equal to 1 because the relative permittivity of air is 1. The unit of force is measured in Newton, where the charges are measured in Coulomb and distance R in meter. It is also noticeable that the repulsive force between two like pole charges and the attractive force between two unlike charges can be quantified with this force equation. Let us do the problem based on Coulomb's law of forces. Two negative charges are placed 
0.7 meter apart. If the charge of H is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb, what is the electric force between the two charges? Let Q1 and Q2 be equal to 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb. Distance between two charges is equal to 0.7 meter. As per Coulomb's law of forces, F is equal to K into Q1 into Q2 by R square. By substituting the values of Q1, Q2, K and R in the force equation, force between two charges are obtained as 0.073 Newton. Electric field is a field or space around a charged particle where its force can be experienced by any other charged particle. Electric field around charges can be represented by drawing a series of lines. These lines are called electric field lines. If a charge is positive, then the lines of force come out of this charge. Again, for a negative charge, these lines of force come into this charge. The lines of forces between two equal charges of opposite sign plus Q and minus Q are curved and they are directed from the positive charge to the negative charge. The lines of forces between two equal positive charges plus Q and plus Q are repelled from each other. And there is a point X between the two lines of forces where the resultant force is zero. And the lines of forces between two opposite unequal charges plus 2Q and minus Q is given below. It is noticed that twice as many lines leave plus 2Q as there are lines entering minus Q. The number of lines is proportional to the magnitude of charge. So, the properties of electric field of lines can be summarized as the field lines indicate the direction of the electric field. The closer the lines, the stronger the field. Electric field lines start on positive charges and end on negative charges. The field lines never intersect each other. Let us quantify the strength of the field by considering a positive charge Q at a point O in the space where the electric field lines are experienced around the charges. Assume a unit test charge that is capital Q placed on the electric field E experienced by the charge Q. We note that there is a force F that is exerted on the positive test charge capital Q by the electric field E. So, the force F exerted by the electric field E on charge capital Q is given by F is equal to capital Q into E. And the forces between two charged particles Q and capital Q is given by Coulomb's law as follows. F is equal to K into Q into capital Q by R square, where R is the distance between the charged particles. By equating the equations 1 and 2, then E is K into Q by R square. It is measured by the unit Newton per Coulomb. We can also define E as electric field intensity, which is the force per unit charge when placed in the field. Let us do the problem based on electric field intensity. Calculate the electric field intensity of 200 microcoulomb charge on a unit test positive charge placed at 12 cm apart from it. Electric charge Q is equal to 200 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb. Distance between the charges R is equal to 12 into 10 power minus 2 meter. Electric field intensity E is equal to K into Q by R square. By substituting the values of K, Q and R square in the electric field intensity equation, E is obtained as 1.25 into 10 to the power of 8 Newton per Coulomb. Summary This brings us to the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you have learnt about electric charges, forces between the charges, electric field, 
force of electric field on a charge Q.